Okay. So I pre I'm pretty much done with, uh, with my uh, presentation. I can... Uh, So we still have 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, okay. Well, then I will, I will just run through the rest, okay? Just uh, very, very briefly. So firmware issues, uh, it's a firmware is located in negative cylinders of disk platters. That's so that you know. So only small portion of firmware is located on ROM on the board. More, most part of the firmware is actually located on the drive itself. So you can think about the drive as a computer that boots up from itself. Okay, so it has, it may have a, hundreds of firmware modules. It's, it's a file system, if you like. It has its own file system. It has file, you know, firmware modules that uh, could be diagnosed and repaired by specialized tools. Okay, so that's something just, just, uh, just so that you, you understand. And the corruption of critical <laughs> modules uh, usually result in a complete drive failure. And so you need to have that firmware specific a uh, uh, vendor-specific tool that uh, gives you access to that firmware uh, area. And this is what everybody also is using in, in, in uh, the data recovery industry. <coughs> uh, tools like PC3000, for instance. <coughs> now, if you have damaged read write head or mechanical issue, uh, like a failed head assembly or motor seizure, burnt motor, or head sticking to disc platters, uh, it's all required uh, transplant. Okay, in a clean room, it's, it's, it's all straightforward. If you have any problems within the head disk assembly, that part needs to be swapped. And that's the only, that's the only way to proceed. Uh, the, only, the, the easiest way, by the way, is, as far as clean room uh, recovery is concerned, is the problem is the stuck heads. We call it stuck heads. It's when heads stick to disk letters. So what's happening is when the drive powered off, it's supposed to have enough time to park heads. <coughs> Okay, back, back to park, parking zone. So move out of disk platters. Now, if something happened to the firmware and drive didn't have enough time to do that, uh, this, the redrive heads will stick to disk platters. So after, after that, if you power on the drive, it will not even spin up. It doesn't have enough power. Motor doesn't have enough power to, to unstick heads, if you like. Okay, so that's quite common. Uh, classic uh, scenario that has been handled by clean room guys, okay, just moving sticking heads back, back to parking zone, okay. And, and current monitor, by the, by, by the way, in DJI, uh, has ability to diagnose that sticking problem. So you, can, you, you will be able to, to see, and we have in the manual, how to see the, the, the motor by the current consumption graph, when, when the motor is, will be trying to spin up and it cannot, you will see that pulses. The motor is trying, 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 trying. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what about SSDs? Just a few things. Uh, they fail, right? Same thing, like like hard drive. Okay. And uh, and from data level issues, no differences. Like if you have like all the all the thing that I, I was telling you for software recoveries are exactly appropriate for SSDs. No difference between SSDs or, or hard drive. Some drives have disk level issues just like hard drives, okay? So SSD or hard drive, SSD may also have bad sectors, SSD may also have read instability issues, SSD may also need to be reset or repowered to continue. It's, it's all the same instability issues. The nature of the problem is different, but instability issues is, is, is pretty much the same, <clears throat> okay? And uh, drive level issues are usually handled by sp special firmware repair tools or cheap off recovery tools. This is where you actually take in flash, RAM, flash memories out of SSDs, read flash by flash, and then you have this dedicated software that reassembled all the pieces together and building logical image. Okay, it's a very time consuming and very uh, complex process. Okay, so as far as rebuilding SSDs is concerned, it takes even more time and more skills for, for that recovery shop to actually uh, do the right recovery than for hard drives. <clears throat> and uh, very briefly, conclusions. Okay, the first step is always drive diagnostics. <laughs> I keep telling you that, right? So that you remember, when you have a drive, 
you should diagnose it, especially after we introduce you to, to the free software. Just do it, please. <coughs> uh, logical software, uh, recovery software can only be used on a healthy drive with logical corruption. Drive with occasional bad sectors are imaged with software tools after deactivating the MBR, right? So if you have occasional bad sectors, you can still proceed with your software recovery, but don't forget deactivate MBR and use uh, imaging tool, software imaging tool. Drives with evident region stability issues are imaged with hardware DR images. There is no way around. And I, I hope that you understand now why is that, right? So my goal will, was to un, for you to understand what the thing actually does and why this needs to be done. Issues with electronics uh, can be solved by swapping the board with ROM transfer, right? Because I know that IT industry, many PC shops are trying to swap boards. And again, I'm telling you nothing wrong with it, but uh, ROM needs to be swapped, and it's easy. It's usually 8-pin chipset, you know, like any heat gun, and you can move, and, and there is a Google, right? So you can find the ROM chip <laughs> to move. And uh, more serious drive level issues uh, need to be outsourced. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, everything I wanted uh, to tell you in this uh, data introduction to data recovery equipment sessions. A any questions so far? Yep. Uh, do you have the same issues with uh Uh, much less, obviously. So the question was about issues that that are damaging the SSD. Yeah, with problematic SSD, if you're repowering or resetting, uh, not a lot. So usually, what's happening with SSD, if it still survives, okay, and it has media problems, or so-called media problems, have bad sectors and stuff like that, it usually turn off writing subsystem automatically. So it's turning off writing. Now, whatever, even if you try to write, it will not, it will not write, which is good. You know, it's, it's a good idea. So, so that's why with SSD, it's, it's, it's less uh, risky, okay, to handle all the read, write, uh, read uh, instability issues. Okay, so uh, uh, I uh, invite everyone also when we will be there in the booth. So we are moving with DJI, and we will uh, do a quick lab to, just to demonstrate DJI. Okay, so what, it, what, it is, what is DJI about, how it looks like, uh, so that you have, you know, like a first-hand experience. We also have um, uh, T-shirts, right, for everyone. So <laughs> that's another reason to stop by. Um, and uh, uh, also, if you have any other questions, I will be there till 9.30 all, all, all the time. Okay, I'm there. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you.